on jazz idioms in flamenco. One cannot defend jazz idioms in the true art of flamenco, but can accept it according to the taste of the artist. However, one cannot call it true to the art of flamenco, however valid the artist or the palo. However, there are harmonic idioms now commonplace in flamenco that sound similar to or may be mistaken for jazz. On Cantes Chicos On the subject of Cantes Chicos, any may say to Maestro that you play the Cantes Chicos on your flamenco records, but say they are not true flamenco as the Canteondos. How can you justify playing the Cante Chico forms if you say they are not flamenco? Many maestros say that one accepts these forms out of personal taste, respect to the audience, and the culture that accepts them, and through ida y vuelta, and that Spanish people have colonized many places and brought Spanish music to these shores. In return, many things have come back. Rumbas, guajiras, colombianas, vidalitas, and maybe jazz. Equally to be considered is that both the ecclesiastical and flamenco traditions claim heritage from the same source, ancient Greek music, some more directly than others. The Future of Flamenco It is very important that the world of music in general, but flamenco specifically, be widely and completely exposed to the arguments contained in this article that stem from the struggle in flamenco that Manolo Sanlúcar and others have been enduring, the struggle to have their art accepted in the universities and conservatories as a fine art for careful study and examination, not a folkloric art. Segovia is well known for fighting this battle in the world of classical guitar. Manolo Sanlúcar and others are equally taking on this struggle for an entire art and culture. If everyone is engaged in this discourse, flamenco will make the next step to become a scholarly pursuit in academia in all countries where the art is prevalent. We were motivated by our maestro, Juan Serrano, who to our knowledge was the first to have a flamenco program established as a scholarly pursuit in a university where one could study flamenco and play a final recital or concert that is completely flamenco for the completion of one's degree requirements. This was established in 1983 at California State University, Fresno. Many people, as many as half, would say in this community, Fresno, and all around the world that the program or its content was not a valid scholarly pursuit. Maestro Serrano always exhibits profound grace and elegant dress and would never say a negative thing about anyone, even a critic, and would say something like this, If half the people speak well of you, and or your ideas, art, or pedagogy, and the other half speak badly of you, then everyone is talking about you. This is better than nobody speaking of you at all. This helped ignite the argument here in the U.S. that has been debated for so long in Spain and until this day. Indeed, it is because of individuals shining a light on long-forgotten truths that we can plead our case for the history and tradition of this tremendous culture. It allows us to ask questions such as, how can it be that the ecclesiastical system wishes to impose its theories, when its system is based on mistranslation and is a relatively young, written music tradition? How does one go about trying to change ecclesiastical music traditions? Manolo Sanlúcar, Vincenzo Galilei, and Galileo Galilei share more in common with history than at first glance. It is in this respect that people like Maestro Sanlúcar, Juan Serrano, and others are addressing the concerns of Vincenzo Galilei. We should do heed to pay these men attention. Today, in Córdoba, with its rich history, is where the future of flamenco guitar and harmony is being formed as we breathe, where the stem of ecclesiastical tradition is being challenged. It is only now, in this day and age, where the ideas of Maestro Sanlúcar can take hold and free themselves from the prejudices and actions of, in his words, certain gatekeepers of culture. Footnote. YouTube interview. The whole interview should be watched to view the status that flamenco is viewed within Spain. It can only be now that in our truly global, interconnected world, people can begin to see this immense cultural value contained within flamenco. In the new world, and in the academic world, much still needs to be done to bring these facts to light. And currently, we have finished translating Manolo Sanlúcar's book, Sobre la Guitarra Flamenca, Teoría y Sistema para la Guitarra Flamenca, On the Flamenco Guitar, Theory and System for the Flamenco Guitar, into English. On the web, our new YouTube site, Flamenco Professor, has just gone live. We offer his method and explanation to an English-speaking audience. 
In addition, we presented a lecture at the American String Teachers Association, 2008, published an article, Rosewood Review, 2007, and garnered grant monies, $10,000, to take groups of students to Spain to study with Maestro San Lucar in 2007. The future of flamenco depends on the actions of those in the present, those who are workers and, in a true sense, apt to scholarly pursuits. Maestro San Lucar makes it known that the recognition and appreciation of this marvelous art form deserves respect in academic circles and within Spain itself, and the flamencos must be this as well. In this way, flamenco will no longer be just some trinket to bring out every now and then, but a key part of the rich tapestry that is the history of the Spanish peninsula and Western culture in general. We here at Flamenco Professor wish to serve as a conduit for the English-speaking masses and hope to shed more light on this fascinating art form which contains elements which are of preeminent value to the culture and history of the Western world. Hopefully, history treats us better than Vincenzo Galilei.